five. movement oh, oh. Was risky uh. ah look at that what does this do look at that Oh yeah, this movement and these maps are insane. Oh my god. Today I got you guys with an updated Black Ops 6 settings video. Alright, so you guys know how this goes. I'm going to try to go down the settings as quick as possible. We're starting with controller settings. I still play on tactical. Again, most of these settings are going to be preference. You're going to want to play around with them. But these are my settings. So I play on tactical. My stick layout is on default. Horizontal sensitivity is on 10. Vertical is at 8. I have all these settings turned off. These are all preference. I know a lot of people like to swap the triggers with the um, shoulder buttons. But I never like that to be honest vibration off trigger effect off here's my dead zone inputs my controller is a little bit f though so you probably don't want to copy my dead zone for my right stick at least moving over to amy we press square and show the sensitivity multipliers all of them are at one and when we go to aiming advanced settings my aim sensitivity transition timing is on gradual i'm still 50 50 on this between gradual and instant I think the past Call of Duties have had this setting like as instant by default, but uh, I've been trying gradual out and I think at least for red gunning, it feels good, but I don't know about sniping. I think sniping might be better on instant. Aim response curve, still dynamic. Aim response curve, slope scale is on one. And here's my custom sensitivities. I usually try to put my lower optics um, like at 0 0.85, 0 0.90. But then once we start getting to the higher, more zoomed in optics like sniper scopes, I try to raise it up a little bit just so I'm able to like flick faster. All right, moving over to the movement section, sprint assist. You're going to want to put tack sprint assist on. That's so you can automatically tack sprint at all times. And make sure your sprint assist delay is at zero. These are pretty much preference. If you find that... You don't want to be sprinting sideways and backwards as much. You can go turn these settings off. Mantle assist, I have off. Crouch assist, off. Corner slice is like when you're peeking around a door and your gun kind of does that turn. I know some people like to turn that off, but I like to keep it on. Slide and dive behavior, I feel like hybrid is the meta in this game because diving is good, but I feel like you want to be able to slide with no delay and still have the option to dive. And hybrid is the one that gives you that option. Auto door peak I have on. I don't really do it though, but I have it on. Auto airborne mantle off. Sprint restore on. Slide maintain sprint on. Parachute automatic behavior off. Mantle cancels reload off. And then when we get to movement advanced settings, the sprint behavior is on toggle. Auto move forward is off. Grounded mantle, I believe this should be off to be honest. Tactical sprint activation, single tap sprint, plunge underwater to trigger and the sprint door bash is on. Here are my vehicle settings. We haven't driven a vehicle in Black Ops 6 yet, but here's my settings. And these are pretty much your standard combat settings, aim down sights, you obviously have it on hold. If you play toggle, you're... Weapon mount, ADS plus melee, dedicated melee weapon, hold melee, just so you can bring out your knife. You always have a knife in Black Ops 6 on every class. Armor plate behavior, apply all. C4 detonation, which is actually, I think, a new setting. You can choose to blow up all your C4 at once or one by one, so that could be pretty fun. Equipment behaviors on hold, manual fire behaviors on press. But if you come down to combat advanced settings, the most important settings is probably going to be your interact slash reload behavior. Um, I don't know what it's on by default, but prioritize interact or prioritize reload is probably going to be your best option. Sprint cancels reload is off, ADS stick swap off, depleted ammo weapon switch on, body shield or 
finishing move. I have prioritized finishing move. But that's pretty much gonna do it for the controller settings. Um, yeah, none of this is really important. If we scroll down to graphics, I have 120 hertz. I am playing on PS5, so the graphics options are not as detailed as PC. But I have motion blur off, depth of field off, fidelity cast on, fidelity cast at 50. I think some people turn this up to 100. 115 FOV, and my ADS field of view is unaffected. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the mo oh, inverted flashbang. If you get tired of being blinded all the time by flashbang, flashing your screen white, giving you seizures, go ahead and turn this off or on. It will turn your flashbangs to black instead of white. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed and learned anything, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more Black Ops 6 content, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.